right, guys, we are starting the evening off with a decline. I'm sure that's no surprise to you. $4.61 for 3.8 miles. And then literally after I declined that, I got this offer, which is a lot better. $7.50 for 1.7 miles for Wendy's. We are here right now. And there is also a $1.50 boost included in that pay. This is the Wendy's that was closed for a bit. They are finally opened up. They did some remodeling. So we're going to go in there and get this order. And uh, this is actually one of my favorite Wendy's because the orders usually ready or close to being ready. Just how we like it. We're ahead in. Hi. Picking up for E and B with Uber Eats. Hi, I like this thing. guys got the order was close to being ready like i said this is why this is one of my favorite wendy's customers three minutes 1.1 miles they are in a house it's a meet at doors i did message a customer that i'm on my way so hopefully they'll be prepared we're on our way hi there how's it going it's going good how about you good there's that for you mm -hmm. There's that, and then I have two straws for you. There you are. Have a good night. Thanks. All right, guys, order is dropped off. It was a smooth drop off. It was meet at door, like I told you. I messaged them that I was on my way. And when we pulled up, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm sure you guys already know I have myself a driver for the night. The husband's driving. <laughs> totally forgot to tell you guys, but it's obvious. But anyways, message the customer when I had arrived that I had arrived and I'm walking up to the door. As soon as I get up to the door, the door opens, hand him the food. So all is good. Um, so the question question is before I tell you what offer that I took um, how many offers can you complete per hour now some of you guys that have been driving for a long time probably already know the answer on average it's about two orders per hour now sometimes occasionally you can get three done if it's like super low miles and in some cases depending on where you live maybe you live like in a downtown city maybe you're doing it by bike maybe before um, but I on average do about two orders per hour and on certain occasions can do three if I'm getting like super low miles so let me know on average how many orders you complete per hour but I would say two is probably gonna be typical unless you're like in a downtown city and they're very short miles and I could see you doing a little bit more so I did end up getting another offer with super low miles the mileage is 2.6 miles for six dollars 50 cents for Popeyes. We are here right now. This is my good Popeyes. The order should be ready or close to being ready. We are heading in there now. And um, since I accepted that first offer and then getting this offer, it has been about 30 minutes. So we're going to go get this order, get it dropped off, see what else we can line up and see if I can maybe get three within the hour. We're going to find out. We're heading in. Picking up for Liliana V with Dory. Here you go. Awesome, thank you. All right, guys, as you could tell, order was ready. Like I said, one of my favorite Popeyes, they're usually on it. Uh, customers, four minutes, 1.6 miles. Oh, I remember what I was gonna tell you guys. So I take my bag in 
earlier it was not raining and then of course as soon as I come out to do some deliveries it starts like downpouring so I took my bag in because you don't want the customer's bag to get wet um, so I sat the customer's food in the DoorDash bag came out to the car getting ready to you know take off and DoorDash wants a picture of the receipt I got to remember to you know a swipe pick up when I'm in the restaurant just in case they want a picture of the receipt because then I'm having to get the bag and then take a quick picture no big deal but you know you gotta you can't get to going right away you got to take a picture to to move forward to get the direction so I got to remember to try to confirm the pickup for the order when I'm in the restaurant anyways we're almost to the customer two minutes 1.1 miles we're almost there all right guys, orders dropped off, smooth drop off for the most part. Of course, it's dark out. Sometimes it's hard to see the addresses. That's why you need a flashlight. Um, but the nice thing is DoorDash shows a picture from the previous driver of what the front door looks like. So that really, really came in handy. Um, I was able to see the customer's front door, the color of their house within that photo and see it when you know we're passing the houses because it's kind of dark on their street. Um, so that came in handy. And of course, you always want to visually verify you are at the right address by finding the address of the house um, once you you know get close to the house but um, all is well the other thing is that I was gonna mention is you know when we're on the way to dropping off the order we always try to line up another order so we can keep the wheels to move in well nothing's came in it's actually quiet right now um, of course if you can line something up that'll keep your wheels to moving you can really maximize your earnings um, so it looks like I have about 10 minutes to spare before it clicks over to be in an hour and so far I've just completed two orders um, there's like I said a few occasions where I have accepted and delivered three orders within an hour but again those are really short miles you know there's no waits at the restaurants the customers place is easy to find um, it doesn't happen a whole lot but occasionally it does but everything has to align perfectly but we're gonna see what else we can get Hopefully the orders will start coming in. Um, <laughs> we're out here a little bit later, but um, they should start coming in. We'll give it a few more minutes. I'll let you guys know once I get something. All right, guys, took about three minutes for these two offers to come in. DoorDash sent me this $4.50 for 3.7 miles. That is a no-go for me. And then Uber Eats wanted to send me this offer, $6.34 for 3.8 miles. A lot more reasonable than that $4.50 offer. Um, so I ended up taking this offer for $6.34 for Mod Pizza. We are heading there now, and this location is pretty good about having the order ready. We have Grubhub coming in, believe it or not. I haven't heard from them all night. <laughs> I don't hear from them very often. Ah, uh, here it is, guys. Um, they want me to go to Portland. First of all, I am not going down to Portland. It is for $11.97 for 13 miles. That is a backwards offer. Miles are higher than the pay and they're trying to send me down to Portland. Absolutely not. That is a reject. Um, I'm just gonna put, you know, I guess it doesn't probably really matter. Offer too low for the distance. Um, okay, we are heading to Mod Pizza. We're gonna go get this pizza and uh, get these wheels back to moving. All right, guys, after I got done saying what I was saying, I got some good news. I got me a reasonable add-on, a good add-on. Uh, $6.50 for an additional 0.5 miles. It's for Chipotle. So Mod Pizza, it's like a, uh, a building mod pizza is like right here and then chipotle is next door so works out absolutely perfect um we're gonna go get both of these orders and uh my only concern is that chipotle i've had to unassign several orders from this location in the past because I don't know what's going on with this location, but the orders are just never seem to be ready. I hope that's not the case. I do like to check restaurants out once in a while because sometimes they get it together. Uh, we're gonna find out. I am double crossing my fingers that both orders are ready. I'm not concerned about Mod Pizza. I'm concerned about Chipotle. And we have, what do we got going on here? We got something else coming in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Uber Eats is trying to do a triple stack um, $1.50 for an additional 2.2 miles for Chipotle. That is an absolute, no, that is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, nice try Uber Eats. <laughs> We're gonna stick to those two offers because they are reasonable. We're heading there now. Hi. Hi. Can I pick up? 
Patrick. Yes, for Patrick M with Uber Eats. Yes, we're working on them right awesome. now. I'm up here just two minutes. Thank you. They all came here at once. Oh, did they? Yeah. I'm gonna run next door and grab my other one. I'll be right back. Uh -huh. All right, guys, we're gonna go check on Chipotle. Hopefully the order's ready here since they are just starting the pizza. There we go. That one. Hello. Hi, can I check on an order for uh, Taylor S with the Uber Eats? Awesome, thank you so much. All right, guys, hopefully it's ready. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> I'll let you grab the top of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so neither of the orders were ready. Mod Pizza uh, disappointed me. They definitely did not have the order ready. So I went in there. He's showing me the stack of orders that he said came in all at once. <laughs> um, he said he's gonna start working on my order. So I told him I was gonna go to Chipotle next door, check on my order. Order wasn't ready over there. They pulled the ticket, whipped it out. It was just one item. Um, and then went and put it in the car and then went back over there <laughs> and he told the girl that's working on the pizzas that I had arrived and that it sounded like my order was ready. Anyways, I was there for maybe five minutes. I don't know. I, I guess I wasn't really keeping track because I thought she was working on it. I'd get any moment. Well, a driver came in, is hanging out. He ended up getting his order. Another driver came in. They ended up getting their order. I'm still hanging. I'm like, what the heck's going on? Anyways, she was working through them, except somehow mine ended up being last. Regardless, eventually got it. Uh, one of the employees was kind enough to give me a drink and one of the other dashers that was waiting. So I got my husband a Fanta, a nice little treat <laughs> for waiting in the car for me while I'm trying to get these orders. Um, so got both of them. One of the customers messaged me that they had changed the uh, pickup instructions instead of meet at door to leave it at door. And then I gave him an update about his pizza that they were still working on. It should be done shortly. He's the first drop off. We're going to go get it dropped off. Four minutes, 1.6 miles. And I believe they are in an apartment. Yes. Um, and he gave some instructions, which is much appreciated. I'm gonna message him. I'm on my way. We're gonna go get these orders dropped off. All right, guys, that order is dropped off. It's actually a business, but he left me some super good details. The vehicle that was by the front door, all that. So located that nice and quick. And um, the second drop off, the Chipotle is like literally across the street. Should be a house drop off. Um, I let her know that I was on my way. She said to leave it at the door. And um, in the notes, it says leave at door as well. So we're gonna go get this order dropped off. We are literally almost there. I don't even know what 0.2 miles. Um, yeah, let's go get it done. All right, guys, another order dropped off. So we're pulling up to the vicinity of where the customer's house is supposed to be. It's kind of a busier road. So we're kind of creeping along trying to find the house. And I'm like, I bet it's the darkest house right there. And sure enough, my husband shined the light on the house to confirm the address and it was the customer's house. <laughs> um, that's why you gotta have a flashlight. If you're looking for a nice high powered flashlight, I have the link down below in the description. You know, 
it would be a pain. There's times where I've forgotten my flashlight and had to deliver without it. It is a pain to confirm some of these addresses, especially when they don't have their lights on or in it, if it's like in a really dark area or they don't have a very good light. I've had those situations too where they, they have their light on, but you can't confirm the address because it's such a dim light. Um, anyways, got the order dropped off. All is well. Tonight hasn't been that horrible of a night. That add-on with the last two orders worked out absolutely perfect with the restaurants literally being right next door to each other because I was able to go check on the other order. They hadn't started on it, so they got to working on it by the time I went back over to the pizza. It was getting close to getting ready, still wasn't done, but got both orders dropped off. Not a bad night at all. Was able to keep the wheels to moving, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here. Always so much appreciate you guys riding along. And of course, if you did enjoy the ride along, do give the video a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Bye guys.